Hello, everyone. I am, I'm doing something different. You know, this is a season where we are doing things differently. We've got some time and we've got some creativity. And so I'm trying to join with friends and get them to join in with me. And so this is a, a lovely time. Hello, my keys. Hello, it, it's still. Hello. So I'm glad that you're all coming on. This is just a, a brilliant time um, for the body of Christ. And it's a good time to encourage each other face to face. Hello, Keeman. In, encourage each other face to face and be part of this community that is encouraging each other. And today, as I was meditating, um, I thought of what scripture would I like to um, bring out. And uh, I thought of Romans 8, verse uh, 22. We know that the whole creature has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the I, Spirit I told, uh, grown inwardly um, as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship, um, the redemption of our bodies. And that really is speaking and letting us know that, that we are in the end issue. times. There is a groaning that is taking place. The yeah. earth knows its season as well as us. Hey, Miami, Florida. Saludes to you too. And we know that the earth is groaning and in, in the midst of its groaning, it knows its season. And right now, things that should be happening in this season are in what we call a stalled situation. There is an economy, but it is stalled. And while some are being out of work, some are uh, ready to be employed looking there is a new opportunity of employment. So as the demands are being made, we have to learn in ourselves how to really understand what God is doing in us, not just in the world, but in us. And so this is just a great time to be a part of what God is doing. And so I'm just so grateful that in the midst of my spontaneity that you have joined me and being part of this conversation. And you've all joined, and so I hope that you're all doing well. You've all found things to do. Um, it's, it's been raining here in Dallas, but it's now a beautiful day. And I hope that it stays like this. I'm going to be making soup for my for my men who said it's too warm for soup. Yes, from Dominican Republic, Enrique. Hello, lovely to see you too. Glad that you're joining. How are you all in the Dominican Republic? Are you, are you on lockdown too? Are there any cases there? So as you know, that this is a worldwide uh, pa pandemic. Hello, California, uh, a worldwide pandemic, and it is. Uh, everyone is doing the same thing, you know, staying in, just going out for necessities. My, my throat a, a, is a little dry this morning, but um, going out for necessities. And so, and trying to stay active. I, I, I love to keep active. Yes, we are doing great. Thank you, Victor. All is well. Love you too from Miami. From Miami. We would love to do a live worship session where we are working on it. Uh, it'll probably be on, a, on the Facebook page, not on the Instagram page, but I'll figure out a way to post it here. Yes, we, we really do want to do that. Um, so I may I'll put together a playlist. I'll probably do another one for a Sunday so that you'll have that um, to listen to. You can, I'll call it Worship with Dr. Marina. But yeah, we will do a, a worship live. We are planning to. Uh, it, will, it will be like this simulcast um, rather than together face to face. But it's going to be good. You know our sound. We change We change an atmosphere. So I'm hoping that my friend uh, Joshua will get on here with me. It's so, it's so lovely to see all of you coming on. Yes, Enrique, it really is a perfect time to seek the Lord. A perfect time to hear is to hear his voice. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep you all posted about the worship. I really will. Hello, mighty warrior. Yes, we are doing great. Yes, thank you. I know. Look at you all. Yes, a worship live. Yeah, it will be absolutely phenomenal. We're, we're, we're working on it. We are working on it. But again, if you just joined, let me read the scripture 
that I read earlier. Oh, yes, I will pray for you. Uh, so um, it's Romans 8 and verse 22. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the spirit groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship. Yay, Joshua. Yeah, come on and join me as we're eager for sonship to join it and the redemption of our bodies. our bodies but in hope we were saved but hope that is seen is no hope at all hey joshua <laughs> hey how are you today fine thank you oh what a great look who's here oh bless you janet i'm so <laughs> glad you hello it's been forever i like this season as, as much as you know everybody's quarantined i get to connect with people and with friends oh I'm there's so forever. many beautiful connections it's so wonderful to see your face yes, yes. oh and yours too <laughs> these are my friends they're in canada and I'm, I'm gonna let them tell you how we know each other because it sounds better coming from them <laughs> <laughs> well uh quite a few years ago uh we were having a conference here in canada and a lady named Connie showed up and she said, you need to know the McLeans. You need to know Rennie and Marina. And, um, and so we headed actually down to the McLeans. Um, I guess it was a, a summit or a well, encounter yeah, yeah. Yeah, in yeah, October yeah. in Dallas. Yeah. And, um, and then like our lives were just changed. Our lives were totally shifted and changed. And um, we were, we were given vocabulary for the glory. Yeah. We were given revelation on how to navigate the pathway of glory. Yeah. And, um, and we're so thankful for you and Rennie and for your ministry because of that. And it oh. really, um, it was a marker moment for there us, no doubt. Definitely yeah. an impartation that we received every single mm -hmm. session. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just so refreshing to us to find a glory connection Yes, and to really, like Joshua said, have a vocabulary and just some really amazing um, understanding to what we mm -hmm. um, had already been experiencing. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just felt like we just had such an impartation to go to a whole other dimension. Yeah. And so, yeah. We, and we, followed each other from, we followed each other from afar, and 2002 is a, is a long time ago. That is. <laughs> and, and, and that presence, that revelation, that level of worship that both of us experienced, you were also a teacher, both of you, um, in the glory. And you started the Bible school, ministry school. Tell them what you did. Yeah, know. we've done a, a glory school, a, basically a glory mm -hmm. school. Yeah. It's called the International Glory Institute. But we've been teaching that since 2009. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just raising people up in in this revelation, you know, that we walk in of uh, praise and worship and, yeah. and glory. And, yeah. and the miracles that you see. Come on. Yeah. We see crazy signs and wonders and miracles <laughs> and God doing what only he can do. And it's right. wonderful. And I think I think we had a lot of signs and wonders even in those early um, yeah. days at that conference uh, yeah. of yours there yeah. was just a lot of explosions of glory yeah so to say and yeah. very safe to say and, and for us i know with you one of the manifestations is gold dust and and, yeah. and 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 feathers and that was that was with us in those early years um as well as as well as the miracles but those were the evidence that um astounded people and I'm sure right. it's still, still good for you, you know. <laughs> I've got I've got friends who've been to your conference, and you know, our dear friend, mutual friends, Mama Billy, a spiritual mother to both of us. And she right. will testify, you you will start worshiping and and go just with either come on your face or your hands. And I and I remember the oil that you know, things that we don't talk yeah. about anymore. Yeah. And and she'll all signs of oil. Glory. Yeah, the glory. You know, these are all signs of the glory. And the, yeah. the oil is wonderful because it's, you know, in the early days when it first started coming, it would come just like a little bit in the palms of my hands, just enough so that my, my hand would glisten. Yeah. 
Right. And I would show some people and they'd be like, no, that's just sweat. And I'd be right? like, no, I know that this is you don't sweat. supernatural oil. Because I don't actually sweat from my hands. Some people do, but I don't. Mm-hmm. And um, but I would show them and they would they would not be convinced about it. But the thing mm-hmm. is, the supernatural oil, when it comes, there's a fragrance. There's always a fragrance Wonderful. in the heavenly oil. Yeah. And um you know, that's like Jesus himself. He, he is fragrant and the uh-huh. glory is fragrant. And there, Absolutely. you know, there's times when we get caught up in this worship realm and we begin to smell the I, I atmosphere of heaven. aroma, is what I call it. Yes. Sweet aroma. Uh-huh. And it's beautiful. Um, oftentimes it's like a vanilla, a rose of Sharon's, mm. cinnamon, cedar. frankincense, cedar. Yes. You know, it's like swirling and it's alive and it's... Yes. Everything that God does is life changing. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and and the great thing is, although people try and duplicate it, God keeps it so unique right. to each one uh-huh. of us. Each one of us have our own um, expression of this glory yeah. presence, the manifested presence of God. What are some it's of the things you're still seeing today? Well, we see miracles everywhere. And I mean, mm-hmm. even the gold that that's started over 20 years ago uh-huh. we still see the gold i mean we don't we see this it this morning actually yeah this morning oh. i was sitting in my <laughs> office what were we doing we were talking about we were, something we were talking about i think media we were talking about using the online media in this season yeah there was a lot swirling yeah. around about that and i started to see a shimmer behind <laughs> his ear on uh-huh. the back of his it started to come just head. back here and i couldn't yeah. tell it was green or blue i couldn't I couldn't tell the difference between the two. Maybe it was Uh iridescent. I don't know. And then it started to come around his eyes. It started to get gold around my eyes. So when we saw that, when it began to come, we just began thanking God. Like, thank you. Like, we don't, we don't demand signs. We don't need signs to believe. We will like, we are believers. We believe God. <laughs> Please say that again. Please say that again. <laughs> we, we, we don't need signs to believe. We mm. are believers. Yeah. But as believers, it's amazing right. how it's like these are tokens of his love. These uh-huh. are love signs from God. These are, these are messages. These are things that God does just because he loves his children. It's like mm. you can feel the playfulness and the joy and the delight of God. Yeah. In the midst of your atmosphere, when you're just talking about the things of the spirit and he uh-huh. comes down and he just begins to put little, you know, beautiful glistening on, on your body. It's like, <laughs> it's unexplainable. It's just, yeah, there's a voice in the sign. And I love how he ministers mm-hmm. to us corporately. And we've seen the manifestations yeah. happen, in, happen in corporate settings, but we've yeah. seen it personally where he's given us manifestations and signs and wonders for us to yes. encourage us to lift yes. us up, to build us up, to, to speak a word to us, um, mm-hmm. for us to personally yeah. grab a hold on to yeah. Um, yeah. for that hour that we're in. So he's so beautiful how he um, speaks to us. Well, and we felt that this morning yeah. when we were mm-hmm. strategizing some things about, you know, this new season that we're entering into, I think yes. everybody's entering into yes. a uh-huh. new thing. You know, we've been singing and prophesying the new thing for years. I mean, you have, you know, we, we all have been saying this, yes. but then when the new thing shows up, it's like, <laughs> but remember how it used to be? You know? Some, somebody just reminded me about um, how they know you. Remember the car trip to the airport 10 years ago? This is Sarah L. Clark. Is that somebody you know? Oh, yes. That's a good friend of mine. And we were driving to Detroit Airport, uh-huh. and, the man- and the manifestation started exploding in the car on the way to the airport. She took- the cars with us? They, I think, were dropping us off at Detroit oh, Airport. Wow. Okay. And uh, we had to pull Thank over to the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> and then we help each other out. It's amazing. And so, continue the story. I jumped in. And so, they were dropping you off at the, at the Detroit Airport. But I don't remember what triggered the manifestation, but it exploded inside the vehicle. And we had, we just got so overjoyed. Was it on us or on a Bible or on our clothing or where was Sarah, it? if you're on here, remind us. But I just know there was an explosion okay. in the car and we had to pull over to the side she, of the road on just, the way to she the just, airport. She just said, yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
said. We've had a few yeah. blurry explosions in our vehicles. Yeah, we have, for sure. But again, don't you just love that um, wherever we are, as long as we are connected to the presence of God, he does something yeah. unusual that marks our lives. And look, it's yeah. 10 years True. later. And this young lady is still remembering what took place. It is the presence right. of God is that impactful. Yeah. Right. I think I, I think it's so true that it's it really does mark our lives. And it's easy sometimes, I think, for people on the outside to to hear maybe the stories or what you've experienced and they might mock it or they might criticize it because it doesn't make sense to them, right? <laughs> Come on. But when it's happened to you, yeah, when you know that it's God, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't matter what anybody else says. Anybody else when says. you know that you know that you know that it's God, yeah, it's like you, we have been marked by the glory, in yeah. the glory, yeah. for the glory, yeah. and the same has happened for you and Rennie. I know that there's yeah. so many things that God has done in your lives uh-huh. that other people might say are unusual, or they're crazy, or they're yeah. they don't understand them, or it'd be easy for people to criticize. But the truth is, it's been God, and it's God marking us in His glory, and those are the moments when we've shifted into the heavens, yeah. and we've. That's what. You know, in those moments, we we decide that it's better to live for God than to live for ourselves. And it's we're going to live for the heavens and not the earth. We're going to live for the supernatural and not the natural. Yeah. You know, uh, and I that's how us going in ministry. Oh, uh, I, I tell you, the, the longevity is the reality of his presence. That, Absolutely. That, that is the longevity because um, trials always come, you know, in this life. Right face trouble. One of the psalms yes. says man is, Job, I think, said man is born to trouble, right? right. Trouble, you don't have to look for it. It will find you. But it's that, it's right. the revelation of his presence, is knowing that no matter what state that we are in, we can come into his presence. And I, and I think both of us, and, 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 and Janet, you and your ministry is a testimony of this. The presence, when, wherever we are, we create an environment for his presence. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And we invite other people into it, yes. you know? Yes. We invite yes. other people to come in and experience the glory and encounter yes. his glory because we know how good he is. Uh, uh, and when you taste of that goodness, you know, that's the most taste and see, and you can. You can taste it. You can see it. You can hear it. You can feel it. You can live in it. And when you do... There's no other place you want to be. Yeah, yeah. And I know, I know. Right now, because I follow you, um, uh, that you've got a new book about the ministry of angels. Yes, it's called Encountering Your Angels. And, and I know this from long ago. Um, even though you've written this book, I knew this from long ago from our times uh, crossing each other's paths. That you've always had encounters with angels. Yeah, ever since I was a little child. Mm-hmm. But. With that said, when I was about, I don't know if I was five or six or seven, but I was younger and um, there was an adult that actually we, I, I used to see them in the backyard. I used to see them at home. I used to see them in the church and I was talking about them with my little friend who I used to watch the angels with at church <laughs> and, oh. <laughs> and, and an adult began speaking to us and telling us you cannot see angels actually right. told us it's impossible. Mm-hmm. And when we tried to say, no, we do. He said, no, you're lying. You're making up stories and you need to stop. Mm-hmm. And, um, there was something about those words yeah, at that time you. when he, it shut the whole realm. Yeah. And it didn't reopen until I was in my early twenties. Right. And I don't think the angels left. I believe they were there the whole time. Absolutely. I believe all of that was still there. It's just yeah. that, you know, the Bible says that faith comes by hearing yeah. and hearing by the word of the Lord. Uh-huh. And I think the opposite of that is doubt comes by yeah. hearing yeah. and hearing the word of the enemy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, fear comes by hearing, hearing yeah. the word of the enemy. And I think uh-huh. we have to be so careful right now in the season that we're in, what we're listening to. Yes. What we're paying attention to, we're what we're hearing, and what we're coming into agreement with. Yeah. Because it has the ability to either, you know, the power of your words are life and death. Mm-hmm. So we and, either and have the know, power to move into the blessing. Uh huh. Or, yeah. <laughs> or be strangled by curse. Yeah. Or be strangled by curse. 
we love this thought and we, we use this a lot that, you know, Jesus come unto me as a, as a little child and a child comes in absolute innocence. And I, I'm a very visual and, and, and imaginative person. So I can just see the two of you pointing out the angels in the service, you know, going right, back right. and forth, right? Uh-huh. And you're having absolute fun in the presence because of your innocence and your ability to be open. And it takes an adult who has a mindset that's already closed to, to right. close that activation. But I, but I love God because he will wait on us. He, he will he wait on us to get out of the, the uh-huh. trappings that are around us. And when, once you are opened up, it started again at 20. So how did you write, how did you come to write this book? We're having a lovely, just a one-on-one conversation. So <laughs> I, wrote a, I wrote a book last fall called Seeing mm-hmm. Angels. Well, it was released last fall called Seeing Angels, mm-hmm. which is that whole story about seeing them when I was a child. Mm -hmm. Uh, being, you know, the whole thing shut, shut down, how we can combat that. If, you know, if you've been shut down spiritually, how we can combat that and get reawakened. And, and then the whole thing about coming back into it in my early twenties. But then this book I just wrote called encountering your angels. I really felt like I wanted to go through the Bible and find all the angel scriptures that are within the word. Uh, right. Because I believe that every place where someone encountered an angel in the word represents an area in our personal lives where God has a breakthrough available for us. Wonderful. Wonderful. And so basically the way that I laid out this new book, there's 52 sections, short little, you know, yeah. one, two, sometimes three pages to read. They're easy. It's easy reading before bedtime. Right. And it's sharing the scriptural testimony. And then I, I apply that to our lives today, sharing some of my own personal testimonies, some friends' mm-hmm. testimonies, and then pray over everybody with each um with each activation. Oh, really incredible. Prayer. So yeah, it's a it's an exciting book that I'm I'm excited for uh, the body of Christ to get a hold of because I believe that God listen, we need to learn how to work with our angels now more than ever before. Yeah. More than ever. So tell them more than ever. They've got little quotes coming up. I'm loving the, the new book. Somebody's asking, um, such an incredible book. Tell them the title again um, and where they can get it. It's called Encountering Your Angels, and you can get it anywhere that you like to buy your books online. And, and, it's, yeah. and it's Joshua Joshua Mills. And it's Joshua One, Joshua I believe. Joshua Mills. Yeah. yeah. On Instagram. And so Joshua Mills One. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Hold it up. There you go. I think it's backwards, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, they'll, find, they'll find it. We'll, we'll post it up. But Joshua, yeah. what do you think both of us are? You put me on the spot last time, so I want to put you on the spot. It's fine to put you sure. on the spot. Sure, okay. <laughs> we, 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 know, we know how to create an, an atmosphere. You know, we're, we're talking about his presence, and clearly people are feeling this presence. They, they're coming on from all over the world and, and listening to us. But um, I'm not sure if your keyboard is right there close to you. It's downstairs in another okay. room. So, so good. I'm going to put you, uh, that is even better. Janet? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so funny. Somebody's pulled up in our driveway. I think they're here for the book. I'm oh, not kidding. Really? <laughs> no, for real. Yeah. <laughs> I love Canada. He, ladies and gentlemen, he is in yeah. Canada. <laughs> yeah. I am. <laughs> what, what a testimony. See, even your angels, uh, you put them on assignment. I, I, I want this anointing That's too. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to stay connected. But you're like me. You, you can create an atmosphere. One of my friends... Um, right. listen, to, listen to you worship and, and I don't think she's ever had the opportunity to tell you this, my friend Catherine and uh, this is years ago and she said he just strummed the keyboards and there was a presence that descended <laughs> and she's never oh. forgotten she's never forgotten that that's, that's years oh, later that's porch, porch packages that somebody just posted <laughs> but uh, just um, worship with us right now which for us right now, I, I I went back and pulled up somebody, somebody's um, somebody's quote. Nobody's put in a quote. Yeah. So, so I'm going to let you do that. I think somebody from Taiwan, and I'm going through the post. Ooh, no, I don't want to do that. Somebody from Taiwan said that they in, encountered the glory dust and heard angels singing. Oh wow! Yeah, 
That's amazing. That's beautiful. I was supposed to be in Taiwan next weekend, but with everything that's happening, yeah. you know, all the international travel has shut down. Mm -hmm. But that's amazing. There's a person here that said, I've had an encounter, I've had an increase with encountering my angels after reading your previous Seeing Angels book. That is oh, lovely. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Those testimonies are so encouraging. Yeah. Because these realms, you know, these realms that we encounter, Marina, they're available for everybody. I don't think that God has exclusive glory just for one person. You know, of oh, course, true. the way that we all experience it will be different and it will be unique. Mm -hmm. But we are all invited as believers. We are all invited into the glory realms. And, and especially, I want to really encourage people as you listen to, to Joshua, Jenny and I, that um, this season, and um, we're not looking for signs, but we're pressing into his presence. Right. And I, I think that's the emphasis that you really hear from us. I mean, it happened to them in the car. They weren't pressing in for signs. They're trying to get to the, they're trying to get to the airport. <laughs> right. Right. And our confidence, we're not pressing into signs. We're pressing into his presence. And, yes. and God shows up in a unique way. Um, Absolutely. Oh, look at that. The more I play, I activate the angels. Wonderful. <laughs> I, I like that. I like that. You must have child childlike faith. I, I love that. So I still haven't put you on the spot to sing, Joshua, so I'm going to do that okay. right now. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, let's see here. You took a little comment that somebody wrote the other day, and you kind of yeah. just went with it. Yeah. Uh, okay, all these are testimony comments. Okay, let's just go for it. Yeah. Just <laughs> lift up your hands wherever you're at. We're just going to draw on the realm. Just pull down the realm. Oh, just reach into the realm. Shalama karema sotoro babo bramashi. Kiriyama sotala mama mam brabashi. Ora babashi yamanda siri yamanda. Ora babashi yanane de shoroma moso tarababa. Kiriyama sandara babo babashi yamase. Lord, your glory is here. Lord, we feel you in the atmosphere. Lord, your glory is here. We feel you in the atmosphere. Lord, your glory is here. We feel you in the atmosphere. Lord, your glory is here. Lord, your glory is here. And God, right now, I know that you're here. I know that you are changing my atmosphere. Lord, I know that you're here. Your glory is here. God, I know that you're changing our atmosphere. And Lord, right now, I thank you that you're moving in our midst. You're releasing a miracle realm in the presence of who you are. Lord, I thank you for your blessings that overtake each and every one. God, I thank you that your glory is here. You are the glorious one. Hallelujah, 
Thank you, thank you. Oh, my dear friend. Oh, wow. Oh, I thank you that you are glory carriers. I thank you for the the opportunity to, to, to touch your lives. We're still touching each other's lives. I thank you for the place yeah. that, we're, that are, you have yet to go, the countries that are yet to open up to both of you, a glory family, a glory carrier. And we just yeah. bless you going in and you're going out. We, we speak Psalms 91 over you. We declare that as you are protected, the earth is still groaning for the manifestation that is still to come forth out of you. The glory of God be your covering. And some things that I walk through, Joshua and Janet, I say, I quote this scripture from the Romans, this light affliction will work a greater glory. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> this we speak the same blessings over you and Rennie. You guys are amazing, really amazing. Yeah. We truly love you, and I and I know that yeah. we will we figured out a way to make this possible for others to to hear this. Right. And I'm just so thankful that I pray many more do the same, and that yes. this won't be the last time. We'll, we'll wait a little while, and we'll come back and do this again. Bless you both. Enjoy awesome. this. I call this forced rest, but lots uh-huh. of creativity. <laughs> totally, Amen. absolutely. Same to you, Marina. God bless you. God bless you. Love Thank you. you. Okay. Bless you too. Bye for now.